friends welcome back to my channel i'm kaiser if you're new here and if you're not thank you so much for coming back and watching another video all right guys let's get straight into today's video so today's video is going to be my top five tips and tricks that can change your whole skincare routine and change your skin basically so yeah i just wanted to just share some tips that i've learned over the years and what has really helped my skincare game go from here to there so i'm going to just be sharing that with you i want to be able to help you guys so in case you guys are making these type of mistakes you guys can stop right now and elevate your skin honey okay so if you guys are interested in that continue watching all right guys so my first tip is sunscreen now this subject makes a lot of sense especially because right now it's summer the sun is blazing hot it's out in the open it is very visible so let's talk about sunscreen and why no matter your skin tone you need to be wearing sunscreen now first things first there's a lot of misconception when it comes to sunscreen about if you should use it if you're dark skin how much you should use when you should use it how often you should use it so first things first everyone should be applying sunscreen i know a lot of people that are my skin tone or darker anyone that's just basically black basically or has more melanin to their skin assumes because you know from just how we was brought up that we don't need sunscreen because we're darker our skin tone will protect us from the sun i hear you but it won't <laughs> that's what i'm here to tell you it won't okay it only protects you for so much and that so much is so little i hope you know it can only protect you for so little everyone needs sunscreen no matter your skin tone skin cancer is real black people can get skin cancer asian people can get skin cancer white people of course can get skin cancer so this is not something to be playing with you need to be protecting your skin the reason why sunscreen is also important is because people that have hyperpigmentation especially found in people that are more darker we tend to have a lot of hyperpigmentation issues sunscreen can actually help combat that issue actually so what happens is a lot of people will be using chemicals will be using certain creams that if you read the label it will tell you to use sunscreen but you guys ain't reading the label you guys are just using the product also the amount of sunscreen you should be using i'm going to insert a little clip so you guys can see how much sunscreen you should be using you can either use an ounce which can cover you from your face your neck i think even your chest probably your whole body but yeah so i'll put the right amount of measurements right here if you don't have time to be using measurements i learned a trick from makeup wocs which means makeup for women of color on twitter the two finger rule just make sure you put a line of sunscreen there a line of sunscreen there and that will help you protect your face your ears your neck and i think a bit of your chest as well i'm going to put in the description bar some sunscreens that really help people of more melanated skin and the reason why i'm doing that is because people that have a fairer skin tone is really easy for you to pick up any type of sunscreen you won't get really any type of cast however people that are more melanated like me and like many other people out there and especially people that are watching this video we tend to have an issue with sunscreen leaving a white cast on our face to wrap up the first point make sure you purchase sunscreen no matter your skin tone no matter your age and no matter what and make sure you're using the right amount also make sure you are applying it every two hours if able to because if you are wearing makeup it is much harder to do so so we'll probably try and search for alternatives like um there are powder sunscreens there are spray on sunscreens etc the only time i don't apply sunscreen is to go to bed because you don't need to be applying sunscreen to sleep it's not necessary the sun's gone you know what i'm trying to say but even if you're indoors please make sure you're wearing sunscreen just just to be extra cautious just to protect your skin okay the second tip i have for you guys is stop washing your face in the shower it's just no stop it right now stop doing that okay one the temperature of the shower or the bath whatever you're doing wherever you are when bathing your skin the temperature is normally n n hot like I, I don't know anyone that uses cold water like me personally i don't know anyone that uses cold water i know people that just use boiling hot water it's not really recommended but that's just what i do so i can't lie to you i'll be i'll be using blazing hot water if if you be doing that too give this video a thumbs up so that's what i'd be doing so there's no reason why you should be using blazing hot water to wash your face it's just a big no come out the bar first turn on the tap you know either before or after you brush your teeth use a bit of lukewarm water splash with a bit of cold water and you're good to go my next point is over exfoliation a lot of people are over exfoliating without even knowing so first things first if you're using spin brushes stop that as i've already said please stop use your hands you don't need it it over exfoliates the bristles it's just it's just it's more damaging to your skin than it is helpful it doesn't need that type of intense type of action every day if you want to exfoliate there are some things i'll link in the description bar like the dermalogica daily exfoliant i think is what it's called the micro exfoliant that's a really good exfoliator that you could use there's many different exfoliators that you can use that are much better for your skin if you want to use a physical exfoliator another thing as well is people are now also using like chemical exfoliators like you know the glow tonics the bhas ahas all of that 
let me explain to you when i first found out about the ordinaries you know that red bottle i don't remember the name of it i'll put it on the screen right here a lot of youtube videos were centered around using it every day and seeing results like crazy results it is very damaging for your skin to be using such potent ingredients on your skin every day chemical exfoliator that i really like to use is the pixie glow tonic i love that it's so easy on the skin but it really does the exfoliation it, it does its job right but don't be using that every day you don't want to be using an exfoliator every day exfoliating every day just makes your skin really thin and that's not good you don't want your skin to be thin i would recommend maximum three days a week if you want to exfoliate i use the glow tonic like maximum three times a week and then the rest of the days hydration that's it nothing else hydration okay because you know sometimes your skin do feel, does feel a bit more congested and you want to be doing this and that so that's cool but you don't need to be exceeding more than three days. Your skin will love you for it, okay? It doesn't need to be exfoliated every day. Facts. Going on to my fourth point. I would recommend everyone use tissue or paper towels to dry off your face. The reason why I would say this is because using a face towel or a face cloth carries a lot of bacteria. A lot of people don't change it every day. They just use the same one, you know, thinking like, it's not that deep. I just, like, my face is clean. So if I'm drying off my clean face, there should be no problem. But no, bacteria can live up into that. It just causes a lot of, you know, cross-contamination can happen. You don't, you just want to eliminate that. Especially if you're going through, you know, acne if you're going through like any type of skin issues you want to eliminate that problem what i did starting from like i think a year and a half ago and haven't stopped ever since it has really benefited me i switched out all my face cloths and my face towels for paper towels and it has really improved my skin because you literally use it you bin it use it you bin it there's no cross contamination there's no risk of bacteria living on it there's none of that none of that and especially because sometimes it's not dried fully bacteria can live on wet stuff as well it's just nasty i'm now onto my last point oh my gosh my last point is hydration i know a lot of people are sometimes especially oily skin people because you know what? i used to have a really oily t-zone and i was like hold up if my if i'm already oily why do i need to moisturize and hydrate all of that like my skin's technically already over hydrated that's what i thought no baby normally people that actually have oily skin your skin is technically producing more oils because it's very dry so it's trying to overcompensate so you'd be thinking oh no my skin is mad moisturized i don't need to be doing this and that baby but you do you, you probably need to do it more than most people i'm just letting you know hydrate your skin use hydrating serums your skin needs it the same way you hydrate your body you want to hydrate your skin i'll list some amazing hydrating toners that i love to use serums toners just hydrate your skin will love you for it and also make sure you're always protecting your skin barrier by hydrating your skin you're helping repair it you need it doesn't matter if you're oily i'm telling you try it out try it out and let me know all my oily skin girls i know sometimes you're scared but try over this because you guys are going to consider it over but just try giving your skin some tlc with hydration high, very hydrating products and see how your skin turns over you you're going to be shocked you're not going to get any more oily it's actually going to benefit your skin in the long run you're going to look more younger more fresh less wrinkles less blemishes all of that sort so yeah guys i'm just going to list every product that i recommend that really changed my skincare routine and skin in general that's the video done guys just wanted to just do a quick little video for you guys but i wanted to make it as informative as i could and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you want more videos like this you know just quick snappy informative type of videos give this video a big thumbs up comment down below let me know your thoughts and make sure you subscribed make sure you turn on that notification button so you're always alert when i upload a new video and share with your friends your family whatever that's up to you and i will see you guys in my next one bye friends